Beach. And in this video, we're gonna talk about a footwork circuit. What's going on guys, Coach Matt and you go probaseball.com here with the man Nick Shaw from the baseballbox.com, a monthly subscription box sent directly to your doorstep with all types of baseball goodies for that special player that you care about. I'll leave the link down in the description below where you can check it out and find out some more information. In this video, we're gonna talk about a footwork circuit. Nick was a professional middle infielder, played professional baseball, really great hands, but hands are, aren't all uh, that there is when it comes to fielding. Footwork is very huge, and this is a footwork circuit that you like to do and use with your guys to train. Yes. What do you got? Yes. Now, I used to just do the knee drill, working on the hands, working on the hands, working on the hands, until I had some more advanced infielders come my way. Obviously, this is stuff that I did, but I would kind of dumb it down a little bit for the youth to get on your knees, hands, hands, hands. Now, to be the best infielder you can be, these feet are probably the most important thing there is, taking you to that short hop or that long hop. Okay, now bad infielders kind of sit in the in-between hop and they're fighting, they're fighting, they're fighting. So the better you can use these feet, the better hops you're gonna get. Now, this footwork circuit is something I would do after the knee drill. So after you've done your knee drill, your hands routine, now we get on our feet, okay? I would have a, a coach, and I do it now as a coach, be right in front of you. Now they're flipping you a short hop, the ball that you're gonna square up. And what we're really focused on in this whole circuit is left foot timing. I know that's talked about a lot, um, and, and there's videos on what it means, but it really means this left toe should be landing as I receive the ball, as I catch the ball here, if I'm doing everything right fielding. Now, that's whether I square the ball up, whether it's on the run, glove side, or whether it's a backhand play, this left toe is still working through the catch, okay? So this is what we're really, really working on is left foot timing in this whole circuit, all right? Now we're gonna start squared up. Now this is gonna be a little bit funky, but the left toe is gonna to be slightly in the air, okay? The coach rolls you or flips you a short hop here. As soon as you catch it, the weight is shifting through that left toe. Catch, catch, catch. 10, 15 reps. As soon as you feel comfortable, okay? You can do 20, 25, whatever makes you comfortable. We've switched to our backhand side. All right, now one thing about the backhand that we wanna make sure is right foot's behind the path of the ball. So if my ball is gonna land right here, all right? This is how I'm positioned, boom, right foot's behind. Now my head is also back there with my back foot. Obviously, it's not gonna be all the way back, but it's slightly back, weight's back, okay? Now, same thing, coach is in front of you, flipping you a short hop. On the catch, we're working the left toe through, left toe through, left toe through. All right, get your reps. Then we move on to a little bit more footwork, okay? Same thing, but we're putting the feet in motion now, okay? Now the coach is gonna be in front of you and uh, he's gonna flip you a ball that I want you to make into a short hop, okay? So as soon as his arm goes back, we take our prep step. As soon as it goes forward, boom, we attack the baseball. Okay, working on left foot timing. Left foot timing, prep step, through, okay? Then we'll switch to the backhand side. Backhand side, boom. Left foot timing, heads behind, gloves out front on the backhand. Boom. And one more. Boom, okay? Now, again, after the knee drill, we pop up. We do the drills here stationary. Boom, left foot, left foot's in the air. Left foot's in the air. Coach flips you a short hop. We're working around with the feet. And finally, the last one is gonna be a fungo, okay? Where the coach is hitting a little bit firmer and we're working the same thing, all right? Use this footwork circuit to really time up the left foot, okay? Left toe is what I say, left toe, but the left foot timing as you catch and will be a much better infielder. Let me ask you this, how many, like how long is this practice? Like how long is this series? Like are you out here for five minutes doing the, the whole thing or is it 20 minutes or an hour? Like how? I would go 15 minutes, okay? And that's starting from when I start on the knee drill all the way to the last fungo is hit. All right, we're going for a good 15 minutes, maybe three or four minutes on the knee drill. All right, then we're working on our feet most of the time working on that footwork. One thing I noticed when you were doing the short hops and moving through it is I would throw one, one would be a little bit further, one would be a little bit more out, and I noticed you changed up the timing of your speed. So you were basically creating that hop, right? Yes, absolutely. Trying to play yourself into a good spot, like some was slower and you were kind of slower to get to it, and short hop it. Yes. How important is timing in fielding? 
Timing is everything, all right? Number one rule in fielding is I don't want to stop my feet. Now there's a time where the backhand buries you in the hole, where you kind of bury this foot bam, as far as you can and you stop. Everything else is timing, light on my feet, balls on my feet through every catch. So like he said, it's a very good point. No matter where the coach is flipping, that's why I love this drill, I want to make that a short hop, okay? It's not always the best choice to catch it in the air, believe it or not, especially if it's a chopper. It's got all this top spin and I'm coming in like this with a ball that's coming down on my glove. Actually, that, the better chance I have is to time that up as a short hop, boom, and kill that hop just like that. So with this drill, if you're a coach or a parent or another, another ball player helping you, have them mix up the depth of the flip, okay? And I want you to make every hop a short hop. Awesome stuff, as always. Thank you very much, guys. Again, check out thebaseballbox.com. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, drop them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.